It is currently 9 p.m. on the Thursday. You know what that means. It means they just dropped a new album. Yo. Yeah. Now, who's dropping an album, you may ask? Well, it's two fellas. Good question, by the way. Yeah, it's two fellas that just don't they don't don't trust you too well. It is the good old the god, the best top five producer, Metro Boomin, and Future. The rapper just just keeps on making hit out after hit, even in his old ripe age of forty. So we're gonna be reacting to the first Metro uh, Future album. I believe they have another one, and the album is called "We Don't Trust You." No, they don't. Yeah, and reframe Metro and Future probably gonna have features if you want to see the whole thing uncut two dollars down below patreon you also get exclusive early access for some videos super good deal by the way yeah like two bucks and you get everything else everything else before this uncut hear the full song i say let's just get into it. starting off with track number one we don't trust you oh it's like the album Fake ran all over you hate ran all over you I've been in the cold, can feel my toes, but I still stuck to the cold. Money won't fold, pockets won't hold enough. Oh, okay. Taking my pole and now, effing in and now. Weirdly played that. Take me anywhere, I'm taking over the trap. If your metro don't trust me, I'm gonna shoot. We don't trust it's like it's, you niggas. It's we edging, don't, man. We don't trust you. We don't trust you. No, no, no. We don't trust you. No, 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 no. We don't trust you. No, no, no. Fake ran all over you. Hater ran all over you. Fake ran all over you. Trust is a motherfucker. It was not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a superhero type of thing where it sort of just jumps into it. But it's so laid back. I mean, it, it immediately gave me like flashbacks when we listened to uh, Vultures 1. Stars is a very laid back kind of uh, That's true. calm introduction compared to the rest of the album. I'm wondering if it's going to be a similar story here. When that Metro tag hit, I expected the biggest yeah time, same but... and then that dropped a couple times which i yeah. like the breakdown at the end mm -hmm. i always like breakdowns like that in music but yeah uh, on to track number two young, young metro, metro. Yeah, yeah. Your metro, your metro, your metro. immediate yeah yeah your metro your metro your metro Cop a new hammer with a cooler on jam to the show on the road getting bands on band on the high on the low on the man on the man man mm. Is that the weekend? Is that the weekend? It's not the weekend, not the weekday, the weekend. Got the hood in the choke and that's my bitch. I'm a mogul that make her a false bitch. I'm a float on this shit like the coast clip. I put dope on my block, make the dope flip. Yeah. Okay. I love me some good sense. Pluto told us he to leave nigga in the freezer I'm big as a beater Fuck on a diva, I'm hot than a fever Put dope on one liters, more stripes than Adidas hmm. The weekend in there really blurring the line between uh, what is lyrics and what is instrumental He's <laughs> definitely like a backup I don't think I would count that as like a fe I mean it's technically a feature but yeah, like I mean I guess so It's like backup they could have just taken sounds of him moaning and put it on the song. Yeah. Maybe this is going to be more laid back because this, you know, goes hard. Yeah. And Future is really good at just sort of surfing on top of the beat. You know, he's got it. He's still got it. Yeah. And Metro has a, a tendency to pair himself up with, uh, with talented lyricists who can really work well with his beats. Yeah. On to song number three, Ice Attack. This one also feels laid back. Can't put too much on my catch on ice attack. For the round of earth and flooded VVS. When shopping out in Europe, shit down Javier. Yeah. Lace the Balenci ain't got money on my body, yeah. Body. Ooh. Oh shit. Nice beat switch. Yeah, fuck it, take it back. Metro Bowman having cheese. Now these niggas never rest. I've been drinking Cardin instead of rocking Neva Gets. Metro Bowman here, a millionaire. Fuck it, take it back. Metro Bowman having cheese. Now these niggas never rest. Money, murder, money, sex. I 
got some murders on Young nigga going crazy, getting they murder on Bitch gon' fuck me in the trap, that's the type of bitch I like I be turning up, these bitches getting piped down Metro Boomer, he a millionaire, fuck it, take it back I got the name list of 100 corny ass rappers, so right now Yeah, we're, we're getting into it, yeah. we're in the thick of it now Good beat switch Good, I think that might have, the beat switch that might have been my favorite beat so far. I like the plucking that was going on like yeah. in the way, way back. And then that 808, the... You know it. You heard yeah, you it. You know what's up. It's a... I do want to point out that there was the chorus where it's like future kind of glazing Loki really hard on Metro. I'm not... Oh, it's hard to stand. <laughs> like they got my ass, but... Yeah, uh, this poor guy. He's yeah, going through it. I say we go on to track number four. That one was my favorite. Yeah, my favorite so far. Um, I mean, not even really a contest. Yeah. You got the you got the big players out for this one. Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, which I like what they did with Travis Scott since he's sort of like it reminded me of bits of rodeo, like the more spacey bits. And they, no, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. I love when Travis Scott works off of kind of the production. Like yeah. he did an Astro World a lot. Uh, the production was kind of front and center in a lot of those songs, but. In a few of his rodeo songs, it was a similar vibe where he kind of he he just so perfectly fits the energy of the production, and he did that for his verse in this song. Yeah, incredible stuff. Cardi, his voice is so similar to Future's, I can <laughs> tell for a while. I was like, no, it's him. Which Cardi needs a fucking drop. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna have an album of the year once he does drop in twenty twenty seven. Yeah, no, he keeps saying twenty twenty four. Oh, it's come. To, I I think he might be saving it for summer. He's you know dropped seven singles now. So like, when how long is this album gonna be? Because it's mm -hmm. not gonna be a half and like half new songs, half singles. That'd be kind of duty. Track number five, claustrophobic. We the professionals, son. We professionals at what we do. Like, cut it out. Yeah. Had to buy another mansion. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh, hell yeah. Brought a bigger Maybach. I'm getting claustrophobic. Alice Richard and the stylist. Presidential Rolex niggas. Is this someone? Time. Is this someone? Eighty-five pointers. Ocho six. No, it's fifty. Right? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It does. It is. It takes me a second. Is it? I mean, I'm gonna fact Wait. check this. I'm gonna fact check this. I don't know his rank. This is like my first future album. <laughs> I didn't see. Did you see? Okay, it's future. I saw the next feature though. Is it trans? I'm gonna get a direction. That sounds like it sounds like a whole different person for a few seconds, and then yeah. it really it's got a process. Stop it, man. You know what I mean? Do something else. Stop trying to do what everybody else doing, yo. You know, cause I know that's what's going on. Cause these niggas ain't supposed to be rapping. I mean, who really liked these niggas? Good song. I okay, when we were when I was fact checking if that was future on there, I saw the feature for the next song. I didn't see it. I kinda just want to get into it because legitimately when I saw <laughs> it, my heart dropped. 
I'm a little shaky right now. I feel like I it's not Drake then. That. Um, so we're just gonna get into the next song. Um, I might get physical with you, Jaren. Song number oh, six. Oh, fuck, it's Kanye West, isn't it? Track number six, <laughs> like that. And this is the fucking leaked song! Or not leaked, this is the one they played at the thing. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh my god. There's no- that was the peak of the album. <laughs> Holy shit. There's no one else you could bring out that will get me that excited. At, like, at all. Yeah, I showed my, uh, my Kendrick meat writing side for a second yeah. there. Did you think Kendrick when I said my heart Absolutely dropped? Absolutely not. Yeah, I did not expect Kendrick on a Metro album, like, ever. He might have in the past. But that was also a phenomenal verse from him. Like, I've not heard him rap like that oh in my God. years. Like, that probably was, since Dan. Holy shit. I, I didn't think that Cardi and Travis's song or a feature would, like, be topped yeah. so monumentally in my mind. It's also like, I heard, you know, most of us saw that clip from Rolling Around where Travis Scott is playing, it's like, play the da na 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 I thought he was going to be on it. He's not. Which I'm fucking fine with, because I was already like, damn, this song's so good from the snippet, mm -hmm. but it's probably gonna be worse than the album, just because the snippet had energy, but holy shit. Your ass was wrong. Kendrick Lamar, 2024. I, I would probably be, ex like, that excited for Tyler, the creator, and that's it. Just because, like, who else? Travis Scott and Cardi are already brought out, but that was sort yeah. of, like, a given. But Twin Tyler, the creator, given. on a fucking... Yeah. Metro album. That'd be crazy. <laughs> uh, 21 Savage is gonna be a given. Mm -hmm. Drake, um, I don't really give a fuck if he's on it or not. Kanye, he, he's not too good at rapping nowadays, so I wouldn't <laughs> really mind. And he's just been pumping out a lot of music. Yeah. So, like, there's literally no one else other than, like, if they got, like, JPEG Mafia or some shit. Like, Kendrick is literally, like, the one person I'd be like, fuck you. Don't try to <laughs> trick me. Because, like, I, I don't know. Just because Kendrick hasn't been, you know, making any noise for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, I'm no longer going to look at the genius thing, though, <laughs> because that did spoil me. But I had so much excitement for that. That I think I was more excited than that. Oh, man. I was more excited for that than when Party was on Bean, because I think, uh, I don't know. Like, my heart just dropped. I was like, no fucking way. Hearing Kendrick's voice on a, like a brand new song, it feels like. It's it's special. Yeah. It it has some kind of visceral reaction inside of me that I went ballistic. I don't <laughs> Yeah. Dude, oh my god. Nothing like he fucked up by putting that song on song number 6. Yeah, what? Like, how are you sp <laughs> you're not going to top that. Damn. I'm I am uh I'm thinking maybe album of the year. <sighs> yeah. Dude, oh, if Will Kendrick Speedy. and Baby Kim drops, I'll bust. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And we'll You'll see it here, guys. Yeah. You'll see the busting. Not on the here. night it drops. Yep. If we bust the baby came and Kendrick Lamar, that's going to be on the page. Mm -hmm. there, so. Lock it in right now. Only $2. <laughs> well, 
Well, it's only downhill from here. We'll see. Track number seven, Slimed In. I'm just on some slime shit. I'm back on that slime stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear I'm you. I'm about this superstar shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ooh. Don't so got Yeah. The mediator, yeah. right? All my hoes getting slammed in. All my hoes take the whole thing. High top made back cocaine. All my hoes, they gang members. All these pills got cane in them. Dog food probably got pain in them. Little bit of hoe, I sign shit. Yeah, yeah. SC niggas who run shit. Little bit of hoe, I sign shit. Man, every time Future starts a new verse, I'm like, no love, oh, it's someone shit. else. I'm just on some slime shit. I'm back on that slime stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't care about the superstar them shit. Slime lock yeah. in. Yeah. We back on our slime shit. Don't go. Whew. Damn. I mean, they're consistently going to be fucking <coughs> amazing. I mean, so far, every song has been a hit. Some more hits than others, like high level hit. <laughs> now I can, I can very confidently say this is going to be the album of the year conversation. Yeah, I I mean, it really does come down to what other big artists are going to yeah. come out this year. I I mean, if 2093 or 20... Is it 2093 by Yeet? I think that's the name of the album. If that's in the conversation 2099. of 29... Is it? If that tell, album, What's in the comments? Let us know who's right. Is it 2093 yeah. or 2099? Duke it out. <laughs> um, if that's in the conversation of album of the year, this is without a doubt Yeah, in there. What is in the this album's definitely in there? Twenty ninety whatever the hell is in that conversation. I yeah. haven't listened to Insano, so that's up to you. No, okay, it's fun, it's really good, but like I don't think it's her best. Vultures, I don't think so. Oh, Scrapyard, Scrapyard is not. I mean, it's not going to be on many people. I mean, it's going to be in people in my little sphere. Uh, top ten, it's definitely in my. Album of the Year conversation. Yeah. But on to the next song. A song that just looks fun to say. Magic Dawn Juan, Princess Diana. That is an awesome name. Let's get it. Okay, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. Boom, bam. J O oh, shit. Let's go. Pimpin' these hoes and working that magic like I'm done. Uh, well, this one's evil. For me, that white shit like I'm turned braided. I'm gonna put a sports car on two wheels. It like is he's evil. The way I be a loose and ain't I had to stop from doing my life. Bro, this rapping shit, I'm serving shit like Pine Wall. I can't prove it, a bitch gonna sign me like Prince Harry. Ooh, okay, cool beat switch. Yeah. Crazy, like stupid. Princess Diana Diamond ain't cheap. I'm charging two feet to just a tweet. Round with 200 rounds on the seat. Burning on me, I'm about to get a beat. Foul, nigga, we squirt. Are you dumb? We squirt? Princess Diana Squirts confirmed. Am I supposed to squirt? Nigga, do something else. Princess Diana gets uh, Magic Dawn Quan. What the fuck is up with that title? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it seemed like a two. I mean, it seems like Princess Diana was the second beat in mm. Magic Dawn Quan. Quan, not Quan, um, was the first beat. By my calculations, and I okay, first beat was Halloween ASF. Second beat, uh, it's a fucking nerd. Something else. <laughs> by my calculations, this is album of the year as far as I can tell. Okay, I have been appreciating the beat switches when they've uh, when they've shown up. I think Ice Attack kind of set a bar when I when we got to there. I was like, okay, so we're gonna like try to match this as we keep going. And then, I mean, it peaked with, uh, yeah. with, what was it, like that. And we're, I mean, we're we're hanging around that level, and I haven't been disappointed yet. You know, obviously, the bar was here, then Kendra came, we got boners, and they moved the bar up, and now the bar's a little higher, but the songs are still reaching, well, they're still going above the bar. Not the boner bar, but the bar previously <laughs> that was set. So, I've been enjoying all of them a lot, like, goddamn, there's not been one song where I'm like, I'm gonna skip this. I to to sound like a broken record here. I will uh, just keep saying that it's it's album of the year potential. We've got yeah, good features, insane production, and good vocals by Future through and through. Mm -hmm. I will say. Going on to track number nine, Cinderella. Ooh. 
Ooh. Mystery instruments. Rakes and rakes stuck together. Sit red top to the devil. Rosetta stones forever. High yellow and every yellow. High chocolate Cinderella. Trap off a track and trailer. Group paper stuck together. No, it's high price lows. Two M's that's on the pedal. This bitch made that bitch jealous. This cup ain't never fell. I would I'm in Helen. This guy's a trellice. Too bad like a train. Think twice trying to do it. Then head until the it's like the good fellas. Back to space with Travis. Really unique beat. Yeah, and second Travis feature. Yeah, he seemed um, like he got more of a verse this time. Which yeah. I'm happy about. I was sort of, I was like, I could tell that it was his hum before he came in, but I didn't want to look like a freaking dimwit and say it was him uh, early on, but liked it. It was nice, it was chill. And Travis Scott ad libs. Yeah, he got like half the song this time, so yeah. uh, good for him. He didn't have to share the spotlight with Cardi this time. Yeah. I'd say good song, probably. Uh, I'd give it eight boogie bombs out of uh, Peter Griffin medallion. And oh, lost Peter Griffin. Okay, I'll give it seven gold scars out of uh, Loot Lake. Those are not in the game, neither of them. Give me one Cora from Legends of Cora <laughs> out of a uh, fucking furry. There's always one in the season. On to a track. Title that was stolen. Track number ten. All right, this is where the Tyler. This is probably yeah. gonna be a Tyler feature. If the Tyler the feature episodes. comes up, um, one thousand dollars to all of our Patreon followers. Yep. I like that. That one was like instantly maybe the most catchiest to me. Yeah. And it sounded like I, I liked it all. <laughs> uh, my apologies for getting the feature wrong. Um, yeah. Uh, sometimes when it comes to the production, it's best to go a little simpler, I guess, because that one seemed a little bit less, uh, you know, out there. There wasn't any like samples from other songs or popular Not media. Not in my eyes. Okay. I'm talking, I'm talking oh, Metro yeah. Boomin style. His uh, his highs and his lows, I mean complexity complexity speaking, when he goes super out there and experimental with it, and then when he does something like this, which yeah. isn't like super crazy, I, guess. I liked it a lot, and it just shows that he doesn't have to get crazy. I appreciate a good guitar in hip hop, and that was there at the end, and I liked it. And there's not enough guitar in hip hop. There's maybe like four songs that have a guitar like that. <laughs> And he the ones it. I could think of, three out of four, are from Yeezus. On to track number ah. 11, Pride, She of I.
We the best in their business. There is no competition for us, man. Both hypothesize fell through. That's okay. <laughs> um, if I could predict it, then uh, you gotta stay unpredict. Um, you gotta be unpredictable. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, catchy song. Seems like um, a hypothesis alert number three might be one of the hits that people like to play. I feel like um, the hypothesis number four, the last hypothesis in a while. I think we're gonna <laughs> get a lot of these chiller ones more catchy more hooky less um hype until we get the gta or what the fuck you mean yeah that was my hypothesis uh hypothesis number five gta is going crazy because it's like the freaking video game track number 12 ain't no love I like the little um, flute or whatever that was going on in the background. Very yeah. funky stuff. The whole album has been a little less hype than I was expecting. I don't know why I was expecting so like an, a hype album, but again, I mean, I'm glad I yeah. do like having more you know, songs that can just fit well into any situation. That listening to music doesn't have to be uh, hyping me up for the gym. I mean, I guess the Kendrick feature was dead. that one was like no but he hype. Like, oh my god! To be honest, I didn't even hear the verse. Like, I didn't process a word of it because I was oh me neither. Like, I don't know what the fuck he said on it. Other than it sounded good. Yeah, straight up I blacked out. A new hypothesis, there's gonna be one more feature on the butt end of this album, and it will be 21 Savage. It would shock me if 21 Savage wasn't on this album. Yeah. That is probably the safest and most accurate hypothesis I've had. Track number 13, Everyday Hustle. Everyday I'm hustling. Ooh. Oh, since that's a little sample. Ooh. What is Everyday this? hustle like we. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. fuck. They got me. Every day hustle like William, I'm charging the chicken just for the rest, yeah. I get in that kitchen, I cook go to work, I go berserk, yeah. Go out and get it, secure the city, can't sink like the top ten. I know the power of a dollar, told 50 rounds at this. She know I get money, she know. Early in the Ooh. morning, go. Late up at night, go. Just be precise, just be precise. Got a pack for the flight. Got a pack. All I took was a Nina. All I, took. I show up in a Beamer. New bitch, never meet the parents. Keep uh, a beam, uh. I'ma keep it balanced. Built the bunker real deep in Tampa. Got 200 cars, hate to scream it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Fighting for Bye. your life from out of house, cutter. Bad Ooh. face, just like I'm little critter. Brick in the toilet, he ain't talk about shit. <laughs> Drop a brick in the toilet, he ain't talk about shit. That shit don't fly. We don't listen to that bullshit, son. Okay. All right. That was my favorite beat switch paired with my favorite lyric. Which <laughs> the lyric was obviously, um, put a brick in the toilet, I ain't talking talk about, about shit. shit. Um, good stuff. I love a good poo poo line. clever. Like a good poo poo line. So, who was that? On the verse before the beat switch. That okay. was definitely not future. Rick Ross. Rick Ross. All right. Okay. I was honestly so into the beat. I was not. I did get lost in the in the soul sample for a while there, but then yeah. I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a sec. Track number fourteen. GTA.
I got shooters. Not nearly as uh, as hype as I thought it would be for mm. a song called GTA. Guys, <laughs> I can't believe we got GTA by the Tribune before GTA 6. This is where you click off the video. No. Okay, Um, this is going to be my last hypothesis. But the hypothesis is that there's going to be more hypothesis. Uh, hmm. On the track after this one, what the fuck you mean? I'm guessing there's going to be two features. What an odd hypothesis. Where'd you pull that out of? Um, it's almost five minutes long. Track number 15. <laughs> Seen it all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's peeing. Seen it all. Bro, these bitches back out, Ooh. rocking these platinum chains. She give it to a third nigga, that's my claim to fame. Chanel body suit, when it rain, diamonds galore. You so for the under the stars, you can forget how you was living before. She keep it Ooh. P with a player, so she never at me. Came up from the block selling a raw as coke. No matter OD out this shit, nigga ain't never enough. Richard Mill calls a house, it ain't never enough. 700 bucks on a truck to see's brazen. Got rich in this shit, got a clip hole up 50. You try to keep up with me, gon' be OV. I cook that white girl uncut, you might OD. Teflon, put up, I'm not the nigga you can take. Me and my brothers, we put freaks in rotation. Sometimes they move on, they still can't replace. I hate this shit, I don't even hate them. Do your thing, nigga, you know what I'm saying? But personally, this shit is not popping, son. This, the snare, the. Fuck, snare or kick drum, whatever it was, that shit had me for that. And to be completely honest, I have never mentioned the lyrics of any of these songs because I've not been listening because the production has been amazing. And it's the first <laughs> time I do not feel guilty for not listening to the lyrics. Yeah, I mean, Metro is kind of just the producer, so he just steals the show on most of these songs. Even though, I mean, Future plays into the, oh, yeah. the production so well. He perfected um, it. But yeah, I mean, without Metro's production these wouldn't be as good as that. yeah there would be no fucking song like i'm i'm just listening to vocals like what on to onto the two feature song yep. by my hypothesis track number 16 what the fuck did um so fuck me um, um i could have sworn i heard a 21 savage ad -lib. absolutely there was a 21 savage ad lib what happened future future we're on genius by the way future future uh, so future, technically zero future, features on uh future, on this song future and travis scott so yeah i guess travis scott so i was right about one feature i could have sworn i'm pretty sure there was a there was a smidge of of 21 savage i was I, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I was kind of anticipating the uh, the twenty one Savage verse yeah, for same. about three set or three minutes straight. Yeah. So, oops, sorry, gang. Uh, uh, we're like what oh for six on hypotheses now. Yeah, literally. All right. So, um, I'm just gonna expect Future Metro on a song, and it's gonna be good. This is a <laughs> bonus song that was included at the original release, last track and uh, track number seventeen. Where my twin at? Yeah, my twin. Yeah. I met you, I met you, I met you. Where my twin at? In a courtroom with his head up. Ain't no tissue, any issue. 
Plank a pistol at the opposite. Smash off in the wide body kit. Nigga, what it in that? Nigga, what a fin that? Nigga, what my twin at? Niggas tied to the mafia like Reeboks. Bring the lean out, bring the speed out, bring the keys out, bring the bees out, bring the C's out. In the courtroom, with his head up, ain't no tissue, any issue. Swing a pistol at the opposite. That was I could Short see why wait yeah I could see why that was a bonus I'd say it's as good as all the, all the other songs yeah. but like I don't think it would have fit anywhere other than the but end I'm not win at that's twin. that was good let's get into final thoughts all right I feel like very good project contender for yeah. album of the year for sure uh huh every song kept my attention it definitely peaked for me at like that because you can't just bring out Kendrick Lamar because like what it's been like a year since he's been on the song. I think it's weird that you peaked at the Kendrick verse and not the Cardi verse, which I've heard Cardi I d- a lot. This I mean, year. yeah, I definitely do understand that Cardi is kind of just all over the place. Kendrick, I mean, Kendrick's in pop songs, Kendrick's in yeah. like more underground rap songs, but I haven't heard a Kendrick verse in a long time. Yeah. So it's good to hear him back out and making music and being on yeah. such a good song. I feel like already without the Kendrick verse that would have been one of my favorites oh, yeah. with like the samples um good stuff and then Kendrick came in and stole the show this I ex- came in expecting here and it exceeded by like this much and I think it gave me a similar vibe to the Yeet album on how much it exceeded my expectations really yeah because yeah. I was expecting a little less from the Yeet album but it it gave me a lot but this I was expecting a lot and it gave me a fuck yeah. With this, I was expecting. I was expecting a bit. I was expecting a fucking solid album. You know, I've been putting my my eggs in the wrong baskets. You know, I've been you know studying all the yay stuff for his new releases, and Vultures was nowhere near this you know caliber. And I was like, yeah, this will be a fun listen. But this was probably one of my favorite albums of the year, easily. Yeah. Every song you know kept my attention. Kendrick first insane. And I'm also excited to hear Kendrick Lamar in the Hillbillies. Yeah. Like, uh, overall, album of the year. Also, Kendrick, if you're watching this, um, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below who your favorite Disney princess is. And um, yeah, yeah we'll, uh, or, we'll discuss. Or, you know, if, if Metro or if Future is. I know Metro got his YouTube channel. Um, if, you, if you see this, Metro... Tell us who your favorite Disney princess is. Same with you, Future. We want to know. If you made it this far, what the heck are you doing not subscribing? Thank you to everyone who watched it. We will see you guys. Adios.